हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू येट अनदर वीडियो सो फाइनली गूगल हैज स्टार्ट रोलिंग आउट फर्स्ट एंड्रॉइड 14 बीटा बेल्ट फॉर पिक्सल स्मार्टफोन सो इन दिस वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट एवरी न्यू फीचर वॉट गूगल हैव एडेड ऑन पिक्सल स्मार्टफोन विद लेटेस्ट एंड्रॉइड 14 बेल्ट सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो हियर आई हैव माई पिक्सल सिक्स ए ऑन विच आव ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल दिस लेटेस्ट बिल्ड टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस सॉफ्टवेयर इन्फॉर्मेशन हियर अंडर एंड्रॉइड इट सेज अपसाइड डाउन केक विच कम्स विद फिफ्थ अप्रैल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सिक्योरिटी पैच एंड इफ वी कंटिन्यूसली टैप ऑन एंड्रॉइड वर्जन वी स्टिल हैव दिस एंड्रॉइड थर्टीन ईस्टर एग वी माइट गेट टू सी न्यूअर एंड्रॉइड ईस्टर एग इन दी अपकमिंग बिल्ड जस्ट आफ्टर टू बिल्ड ऑफ डेवलपर प्रीव्यू गूगल हैव रिलीज एंड्रॉइड फोर्टीन फर्स्ट बीटा आई वॉज ऑन डेवलपर प्रीव्यू सो आई रिसीव दी अपडेट वाई आर ओवर दी एयर एंड दी अपडेट साइज वॉज टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फोर एम बी इफ यू गाइज वॉन्ट टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ बीटा प्रोग्राम यू कैन जस्ट यूज द यू आर एल गिव इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो एंड मेक श्योर यू आर साइन इन विद योर गूगल अकाउंट विच आर यूजिंग ऑन योर पिक्सल स्मार्टफोन यू जस्ट हैव टू स्क्रॉल डाउन एंड यू सी द एलिजिबल डिवाइस just tap on opt in and check for the ota update you will receive an ota on your device in some time but i won't recommend you guys to be a part of beta program because beta builds are not recommended all the time and guys before moving ahead if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash that like button and also make sure to subscribe to our channel that will motivate us in making better content with quality also one thing which i forgot to mention you guys if you see the google play system update which is of 1st june 2023 on first android 14 beta build first change what google have done and that's layer to the transparent navigation bar which you guys can find it in the developer options so by default i think this will be disabled you need to enable it and you will see changes in the navigation bar though it is not fully functional right now i have seen few applications still doesn't allow the navigation bar to be transparent for example you can see here the facebook application but other applications like youtube do have this transparent navigation bar with future builds hopefully we get to see every application being supported for this same feature and when it comes to navigation you guys must be aware that google introduced this predictive back gesture and this also you need to enable it from the developer setting you just have to go to settings developer option and search for predictive back animation once you enable that you can use this predictive back gesture and another change what you guys going to notice that's layer to this pill which now appears when you use the back gesture on stable builds of android 13 we only used to see an icon but now that icon is having a round pill shaped color and the color of this pill do get changed depending on the wallpaper you have been using with android 14 if you now swipe down the notification panel of the quick setting tiles on android 13 we used to see the estimated time but now to see that estimated battery time you need to swipe more down Also some minor tweaks have been done here whenever you long press on the application you can see the snooze icon have been moved towards the right side and the app info icon is towards the left hand side but you can see the screenshot which was completely opposite on the previous builds after that some more changes are done under wallpaper and style section but due to some reason wallpaper and style section doesn't open up on my pixel 6a soon i tap it crashes so let me just go through the changes what they have done first of all they have removed the monochrome color from the basic color palettes and they have also removed the clock style option which were introduced with dp1 and dp2 hope to see them in the upcoming builds with proper functionalities now they did add the option to remove the weather from the lock screen but that is again not functional on this build so let me show you that option can be found in the settings if you go to display lock screen and here you can see it says show weather so i'll just disable this and turn off the screen you can see the weather is still present on the lock screen later we also get to see the enhanced pin option under security section so right now you can see if i have not enabled that feature and if i tap on the pin or the numbers there's a animation which appears and to enhance the security google have now given an option which can be found in the screen lock settings you just have to enable this enhanced pin privacy and now let me show you if you tap on the numbers the animation is not present also now if you take a screenshot for example let's take this screenshot and if you tap on share on first two developer previews the nearby sharing option was missing only edit option was there but now nearby sharing is back with first beta build and another thing when it comes to screenshot if you tap on edit button 
now you can see the markup tool have got some changes so you can see on these two pens it will indicate the color which you have selected so for example if i change the color to green you can see the markup tool color also changes to green so you don't have to tap on the tools to see the colors only if you want to change the color you can just tap on it and make changes and the next change is in the settings if you go to language and input and under languages now you will see a pop up if you make any changes in the preferred language so for example i'll just swipe it up and i should have a pop up so this also will avoid accidental change of the languages if you are playing around in the language settings previously we never used to see any kind of pop up and the screen recording is being played that was done on developer preview 2 and they have removed few options from beta 1 if we compare it with the developer preview 2 and one of them is under the accessibility colors and motion section previously there was an option to adjust the colors but due to some reason it has been removed from colors and motion section and on beta 14 if you allow some permissions for specific application which includes your photo then there's a different section for example i'll just open the facebook application create a story if i tap on continue to allow access to camera roll then you can see a new option which says select photos so now you can give access to the selected photos instead of the entire library present on your device which is a quite good thing added by google and the last thing for those guys who haven't seen our developer preview one and two videos so google have also added this new flash notification feature on android 14 so from here you can also enable the camera flash and along with that you can also enable the screen flash notification so if i change the color to red here is a preview tab just tapping on it this will give you a preview of the screen flash notification i'm personally not a huge fan of it but some users might like it so you guys let us know in the comment section below do you personally like this feature of screen flash notification on your device or not so guys these were all the changes what i have found on pixel 6a after android 14 beta 1 i'll try to do an in-depth review i've started testing this device if i find more things we'll update you guys in the in-depth review video till then you guys let me know how excited you guys are when it comes to android 14 and which device do you guys have also let us know which android version your device is running right now so guys as of now only this much in this video this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video